What's up everyone, Chris from Full Steam Designs. So I've been using 3D printers for a while now. I got my first one back in 2016, but I'm still more of what I consider like a casual user. Um, I just wanna be able to use it when I need it and I expect it to work. But unfortunately that really hasn't been what's happened for me. I end up spending a lot of time making adjustments and trying to get the perfect first layer height only to be disappointed and having to screw around with the machines more. The new LK4X from Longer has a few features that have pretty much completely eliminated my frustrations, and it produces prints that I could just never imagine getting before. Assembly is about as easy as it gets. It comes with all the necessary tools, and the instructions are pretty good. You can expect to spend about 10 to 20 minutes on this. One thing I've always struggled with is getting the perfect first layer, and it seems like if you can't get that, it's all downhill from there. The LK4X features an auto bed leveling system that compensates for any height differences in the build plate. Basically, this takes all the mistakes that I usually make out of the equation. It probes a handful of spots on the build plate and records any height variations. Then, when printing, it compensates for those variations. I started by printing one of the included files on the memory stick. This footage is sped up quite a bit. It took about 40 minutes to print. Right out of the box, the LK4X is making great quality prints. Next I moved on to some more detailed models to see how it would do. I haven't had a lot of luck getting quality prints with this multicolored silk PLA before. But again, the LK4X does a pretty good job with it. This is done with the base settings, so I'm sure with a little adjustment, I could get better prints. I made a couple different skulls too, and again had great results using just the factory settings. These are all models that I got off Thingiverse, I'll put a link to them in the description. I'll talk a little more about getting models and the software I use to print them in a minute. As much as I love making ghosts and skulls, the main thing I use my printer for is making stuff to improve my workshop. I'm in the process of getting my new CNC router going, and I've been making a few parts to improve it. These may not look like much, but they're actually clamps that I can use to hold the material. Another great feature of the build plate is that it flexes. This makes removing prints a breeze. There's something super satisfying about this. The factory monitor mount on my CNC router leaves a bit to be desired. I ordered a better arm and holder for it, but I need a way to connect it to my machine. No worries, as someone else has already had that idea and posted a file for it online. I actually made this part twice. The build plate leaves a really nice texture on the bottom of the part, so I just flipped the model over so the texture would be on the visible face. It bolts in place of the factory mount. 
To strengthen the threads, it's designed to use this metal insert. Not only does this look a lot better, it's way stronger and allows for better positioning of the monitor. The final part I wanted to make was a dust boot to help collect any debris. This was printed in a single piece. The quality is great. My vacuum hose perfectly fits in this opening and it snaps into place on the machine. I just need to finish printing a few more pieces to bolt it all on and help support the hose. There's a lot of websites with free or paid models available. I got all of these models from Thingiverse. It's a great community of people who put their stuff out there for free, and there's a ton of models on anything you could imagine. To get the model into a format that your printer can understand, you'll need to use some slicing software. I use Cura, which is free. It actually comes on the memory card that's included with the printer. I generally stick with the factory settings and adjust the infill, that's how solid or hollow the model is, and turn up the speed a little bit. I'm really impressed with this new printer. It definitely made my life a lot easier. There's nothing worse than wanting to use a tool and having to mess around with it a bunch just to get it to work. If you're interested in checking one out, I'll have an affiliate link in the description. You'll get the same great price, but I got a small kickback from the company that'll go a long way in helping the channel out. Please feel free to ask any questions. I'd greatly appreciate it if you liked the video, shared it with your friends, and left a comment. This stuff really helps the video get seen by more people. Until next time, thank you all for watching, and I'll see everyone over on one of these other videos.